Learning with Maliha presents things to do in nature. Study nature, love nature, stay close to the nature. This video is for those kids who like TV, movies, popcorns, lying in the bed, wallowing in the baths, hanging upside down off the sofa for no good reason and staying in the pajamas all day. You see, you are the one who need to get out a bit more. You are the one who suddenly realize it's 5 to 6 on Sunday evening and you have not left the house all weekend. And when your parents gently suggest you might want to go outside for a few minutes, this video helps you. Because guess what? There is in fact a lot, a lot of activities to do in nature. So get outside, raise snails, make potions, go to the scavenger hunt, plant a potato tower, get soaking wet. So be ready for the fun. The first one is set up camp. If you really want to spend time outdoors, camping is ideal. But you don't have to wait for your parents to book a campsite. You can set up your own instead. You will need six bamboo canes, blankets, string or twine, cloth bags, cushions or sleeping bags. First, you are going to need to build your tent frame. This will be more stable if you can push the canes into the ground. If it's very hard and dry, try watering the ground well and leaving it for an hour. It will much softer after this. After making the frame, as shown in the diagram, throw old blankets or cover over the frame. The tent will shelter you from the odd light shower, but if you want to make it more waterproof, use a tarpaulin to cover the frame. The next amazing activity is weave a bird's nest. You will need bendy twigs, scissors, string or twine, straw, grass and or feathers. You and your kid will enjoy this beautiful activity. Your next task is to make a mini wildlife pound. You will need a plastic storage box, stick or sand for marking, spade, sand, bricks and stones, pebbles, rainwater, native pound wheat. After building this pound, keep your pound clear of fallen leaves and flowers as these can rot and make the water very smelly. There's a tip for winter. Leave a tennis ball floating on the top of the pound. Depending on your winter, it can help stop the pound freezing over completely which would kill the wildlife below. Our next activity is take the matchbox challenge. You will need empty matchboxes, small item found in nature. Matches are perfect container for the miniature treasure hunt. Make sure every player has an empty matchbox, all the same size. Now you have 15 minutes to fill your matchboxes with as many things from the yard as you can find. A pebble, a leaf, a twig, a small feather, a blade of grass, whatever will fit in. At the end of the game, add up the points one for each different item and see who has won. There is a tip you can paint and decorate your matchboxes in advance to make them look more colorful. Next activity is plant an alpine colander. You will need colander, soil, small sumper vivum and sedum plants, old pencil and gravel. Use the smaller sumper vivum rosettes 
to decorate the sides of the calendar. It's easier to plant them if you make a hole with an old pencil first. Next amazing activity is hold a scavenger hunt. You will need a list, container or basket. In this activity, you can find all sort of interesting things in the yard, like balls, toys, cars, lollipop stick, used cartons. You can ask a grown-up to write you a list of things to find in the yard, such as feathers, clover leaf, round pebble, rose petal, moss, strawberry, seed head, etc. Here's a tip. To make it more challenging, the item can be quite specific. For example, a leaf with a five points, a fluffy clematis seed head, or a seven spotted ladybug. Go out armed with a basket or container and try to collect as many as you can. If there is more than one of you, it can be a race to see who finds them all first or who amasses the most in a certain amount of time. Next amazing activity is build a mini rock crate. You will need cobblestones or rocks, potting soil, alpine plants, small trowel. First clear a space on the soil in a sunny spot where your rock crate will sit. Then place your largest stones in the area, mostly round in the edges. Next fill the space between and on the top of the stones with potting soil. Keep adding more stones and potting soil so the structure is a good shape. When you have built the rockery structure, the next job is planting. Ideally, you should use alpine plants. To plant them, simply scoop out some soil with your hands or a small trowel so all the roots of the plant will be underground. Place in your plant, pump back the soil around it and give it a good water. Keep the rockery well watered for the first two or three weeks while the plants make themselves at home. Once they are happy, they will clamber over and around the stones to create a pretty plant-filled cobblery. Our next one activity is make nature rubbings. You will need trees, paper, wax crayons, masking tape, string, laminator or sticky bag plastic. First have a look for some interesting bark. You will see some trees have deep cracks, others are smoother or have lines around them. Next hold your paper against the bark and use the side of your wax crayon to rub up and down. Keep the crayon nice and flat and the pressure even and slowly you should see the pattern emerge on the paper. You can use different colors each time or more than one color in a single rubbing, whatever you like. There's a tip, if you want to bring nature home with you, then cut each rubbing into a large leaf shape. Coat in sticky bagged plastic, add a hole and string them up as a backyard decorations. Next amazing activity is build a bird height. You will need tree branches or bamboo canes, netting, twine or string, foliage, stool, binoculars, bird spotting guide, snacks. First identify where the birds visit most often. This may well be by a feeder or a bird bath. Next you will need to set up your structure several feet away. If you have any old tree branches, you can use these to lean against each other. But it may be easier to place a few long bamboo canes in the ground and tie them together on the top to form a wake bam structure. Stake your netting and tie it around the outside of the structure with some twine and string, leaving an entrance way. Now take the plant and tree cuttings and weave them in and out of the net to camouflage the structure. Keep going until you have covered the hide really well, but make sure you leave a peep hole on the side by the bird bath or feeders so you can spot the birds. Or you just need to settle in place. It's a good idea to bring a stool to sit on as well as uh, some binoculars and a spotting guide. And if you plan to be there a while, a snack and drink wouldn't go amiss either.
Next awesome activity is harvest and dry herbs. You will need herbs, watering can, scissors, elastic bands, paper clips, card or paper for labels and jars. The best time to pick herbs is in the morning once the dew has disappeared from the leaves. The easiest way to dry most herb is by hanging them so go out and using craft scissors cut the stems. When you gather some herbs you need to use an elastic band to tie them together in a small bunches about 5 to 7 stems in each. Then open up a paper clip from the middle so it forms a hook at both sides and slip one of them under the elastic band. Also remember to attach a label with the name of the plant as they can look very alike when they are dry. Keep checking them and after 2 or 4 weeks they should be dry enough to take down. You can then strip off the leaves and put them into label decorated jar as a gift. Dry mint leaves are great for teas also. Lavender can be placed in a pretty bowl and used as a room scent like potpourri. Sage, bay, thyme, rosemary are very useful in the kitchen and so are perfect for the keen cooks. Our next activity is very easy. Paint rocks that rock. You will need rounded rocks, acrylic pens or paints, painting apron or old cloths, outdoor tables, old cloth or plastic sheet, pots or buckets. You can decorate rocks with your imagination or play a game called Story Rocks. In this game, paint a different item on each rock like beach, teacher, spider, alien, castle, whatever you like. And when they are dry, place them all into a large story pot. Then sitting around in a circle, the first person closes their eyes and take out three rocks. Whatever is in the picture has to become part of the story they are telling. After they have finished the next person has a turn. Alternatively, you can contribute to the same story each taking a single stone at a time and adding this item to the tale. This activity is perfect for campfire storytelling sessions. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to Learning with Maliha for more informative and fun videos.